Hello guys, hope you guys having an amazing day because I am having an amazing day. And in this amazing day, we are going to learn if else statement in C++. Here's the basic syntax of if else condition. You can put any statement one and statement two. Uh, and in this regard, I want to say that uh, in if condition, in my previous tutorial, I showed you three examples of if condition. What's the difference between if and if else conditions? If condition only handles one condition at a time. However, if else goes for branching, like if one number pressed uh, is odd then all others can be printed as even or for example if number is uh, numbers are greater than if students numbers are greater than 90 then he will get a grade otherwise he would be fail yeah it's not like that but let's take an example it condition however if we uh, similarly if we handles the uh, great condition of student uh, with if then we have to set uh, um, greater than a is equal to uh, a grade however uh, if uh, numbers are equal to 80 then fail numbers are equal to 70 then fail and for each condition we have to uh, set the uh, uh, condition but if else condition uh, moves uh, for branching and sets uh, a same grade for all the lower than 90 so let's move toward the example we are going to cover three examples of uh, if else to clear your concept okay uh, I should change this shouldn't I if number is greater than 5 then is if number is written 5 yeah okay so we will first do the is even of number program if okay we'll ask user to enter number You should initialize this value because uh, it avoids garbage value. Okay. If num number modulus 2 is equal to remainder, if and remainder is equal to 0, then it will print number is e1. And also show the number with this variable. Okay, if you run this program, then it will ask you the first. If yeah, I, I enter 10, then 10 is obviously even number, so it will show number is even, which was 10. And if we enter 3, which is odd, obviously, number is odd, and it is 3. So, I hope so it's, it would be equal to, it will be clear to you. So now move to the next example. If number is okay, I should. If number, if number greater than five, number is. If number is greater, greater number greater than five, and number show up. Else number is smaller and show number if I enter like uh, 99 obviously greater than 5 
number is greater than 5, it is 99. And number it now enter 2, obviously smaller than 5, or it's smaller, which is 2. So we are done with the second example. So here's the, our very good example of FIFELS. Great example. Enter student numbers. First, F number are greater than 90. Number you got a grade. You are a okay. But obviously, in our field, uh, grades really matters. So whatever. If I enter ninety nine, then you got a grade and numbers are ninety nine. Else. 545 you are failed and number of 45 so we are done with all three examples if you like this tutorial you can like this video do subscribe share uh, my video uh, to obviously encourage me to make even more better do give suggestion I would I highly appreciate this and will consider you uh, if you want to test your knowledge of C++ download my c++ app otherwise java student can download my core java quiz link of both apps would be in comment section on the top most comment and uh, thanks for watching like always peace